Aloha everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kar and in this vlog I'm taking you along on our adventurous camping trip to Kauai in Hawaii. I'll tell you all about our experience in this vlog and of course take you along all the sightseeing. Also, hit that subscribe button below for more of my travel vlogs. We don't travel lights, I wish we did. We got way too much junk. It's not okay, <laughs> seriously. This departure marks the end of our 30-day road trip from San Francisco to Texas, which was awesome. But now it's time for our tropical island getaway. So this angle of me is really horrible, Carl. You're like giving me droopy eye, a bald head. This is better. Oh, it's better. We're just getting coffee now at Starbucks. Um, and we're on our way to Hawaii. Hawaii. Aloha. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> Wait, mahalo is thank you. It's aloha. So it's aloha. Yeah. It's aloha, Hawaii. <laughs> So we decided to go to the garden island in Hawaii, which is called Kauai, which also meant we had to transfer in Oahu. And as you may know, Hawaii is pretty expensive, so we decided to cut costs by going camping at three different campsites. And there really is no better place to do this than sunny Hawaii. <laughs> we made it! Once we landed, we picked up the rental car, which was no fun. One tip, do not rent a car from budget in Kauai, they're horrible. Anyways, we then drove 30 minutes to our first camping site called Anahola, pitched our tent and went to sleep to wake up the next day in rainy Hawaii. <laughs> There were a few downsides to this camping. During the night there were a lot of cars coming and going and people hanging out, which made it feel a bit dodgy. And there were also some abandoned vehicles there filled with all kinds of junk. So this is why we only stayed here one night. Good morning, it's day one in Hawaii and we woke up, it was rainy. But we have a waterproof tent, luckily, and a beautiful view. You can hear it already, the sea is right in front of us and Car just made breakfast. Still making breakfast. So good, so good. good. Living that good life, guys. Okay, so we may have gone a bit overboard with this eight-person tent, but traveling with a baby makes everything tricky, so we needed the space. Then I went in for a quick dip at 7 a.m. in the morning and then started packing up. So you can see the car is very full, and we're heading to for Hawaii. Okay, we arrived in the darkness yesterday, so we had to put, we had to pitch our tents. Uh, Caroline, please. Yeah, we had to pitch our tents in the dark. But it was it went okay. It just took us a while. Yeah, it was, first time it was we pitched it. But then when wow. we were done, we cracked open a bottle of bubbles, yeah. and then it started raining a little bit. But the tent held up. So thank you, Ozark Lucky. Trail Tents. Very well done. Waterproof. Waterproof. And uh, it was fun, right? Yeah, first really camp. Good. I haven't camped since I was like 12 years old. You? Yeah, exactly with Lada. That was the last time I camped. Yeah, when we did biking holiday. Mm -hmm. That was our. That was our. Um, Campsite. Our campsite where we pitched our tent. We wouldn't call that a tent, that's a f Our island. castle. Everyone had like a tiny tent and then we came along. Yeah. So before we settled down in our next camping, we decided to do some sightseeing first and check out Wailua Falls, which is a very popular waterfall in Kauai. Wailua Falls is just north of Lihue and a bit of a step off the beaten path. It's located at the south end of the Wailua River and cascades into two streams dropping 80 feet below. You can even swim at the pool below even though the water is freezing. And the hike is not illegal but the county highly discourages anyone from hiking to this pool as it's very dangerous. Alright, so we just saw Wailua Falls, super nice, beautiful, oh, got like yeah. lush nature in the background. Well, um, it's uh, you could go swimming because it has a little uh, like a, a lake below it, obviously. And apparently, two weeks ago, um, a girl was climbing down, but it's like steep, as in it just looks like a wall, basically. Very hazardous. Climb, very hazardous. And a girl slipped, yes. and she died. This was only two weeks ago. So because it, apparently it rains here so much, it's just muddy. It's muddy and slippery. It's a muddy mess, darling. Shocking. There's a sign there even that says Haz hazardous cliff. <laughs> no, you can't. Carl likes to no, say hazardous. Yeah. <laughs> but, once uh, you hear it like that, you can, you never can go, go back. back. Yeah, true. But um, so, yeah, we're not going to be trying any of that. And now we're off to Jurassic Park Gates. For <gasps> everyone knows, I am a dinosaur nut. I think I'm a total geek for dinos. Once they watch all of your. Um, My vlogs, they'll understand. America yeah. vlogs, they'll You'll see. get to know me better. Anyway, so that's next up. <laughs> For those that don't know, the Napali Coast in Kauai was one of the filming locations of Jurassic Park. On our way to the Jurassic Park gate, we stopped at this cute little roadside fruit shack. 
The owner, a super nice guy, let us taste a bunch of fruits and explain to us what aloha really means. We bought some fruits for the ride and continued our journey. Uh, aloha is like abbreviated for all these words. That's so nice. Right, right. That's the, the card that you see. Well, finding these gates was totally impossible. We kept bumping into signs that said trespassing is illegal, so we gave it up after an hour of going back and forth. But I was also less disappointed after I saw a picture of what the gates currently look like. Anyways, after that, we decided to chill at the beach a little bit and then did this cool pick a pearl thing, and look what happened! Let's see what Caroline got. Oh, I got two! Sweetie. Caroline! Happiness and romance. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and of course, twinning for life, because Kara also picked an oyster with two pearls. Yay! I think this was definitely a fun experience, and we now have a lovely memory of this trip that will last us a lifetime. After our luck with the pearls, we jetted off to Anini Campgrounds, which was about an hour drive. I also can't wait to like sit outside the tent and have, uh, some have a drinks. drink. Yeah, yeah I want to like make the tent cozy, yeah. you know. Yeah. I feel like there's bums here, you know. Mm. As in like people that hobos. Like no, no, not necessarily hobos. Like surfer dudes that thought like, yo, I'm gonna go to Hawaii, man. Aloha, like have a great time. Here. Mahalo. And then they stayed, but they couldn't make money, you know, because they're surfers. <laughs> and then and then that was it, you know. And so now they're just living here on campgrounds for free. Look, Hawaii is like the kind of place that either attracts honeymooners or it attracts this like, like the hippie type that want to be one with nature or like yeah. do their yoga yeah, and sure. like, you know, are like super sustainable in their Lululemon yeah. um, leggings or whatever. Just FYI, we have nothing against surfers or hippies, just want to state that. Anyways, we soon thereafter arrived at Anini and pitched our tent right at the shore under a tree. We ended up staying here for three nights and I loved every moment of it. Here's the inside of our tents. We definitely did save a lot of money by not staying in hotels, but we also did splurge on a few things, meaning the size of the tents, the inflatable beds and proper bedding, because comfort is also key. Alrighty, we are all set up as you can see it's right over there the sea's right behind it super gorgeous it's raining now a little bit it's drizzling and yeah i was thinking of taking a little evening dip <laughs> all right so there's our tent and our little sitting nook and it's a beautiful sunset and i'm in the sea look at that the water is so warm it's so balmy and i'm the only one in here basically <laughs> thanks for watching this first hawaii vlog next episode we get to do a lot more sightseeing and i'll tell you more about my experiences at two of the best campgrounds in Kauai, anini camping versus polihali state campground the latter turned out to be the highlight of my hawaii trip so definitely give that episode a watch mahalo